Good morning, traders. This is Frank Charlie with RJO Futures in Chicago, coming to you Tuesday morning, June 18th, with your grain market morning commentary. Currently, we have grains trading higher across the board. Corn is uh, two to four cents higher right now. Soybeans between eight and ten cents higher, and the wheat's about four cents higher. Real quick, I want to remind everybody that at the end of the month, June 28th, we have a big quarterly grain stocks uh, report. And uh, normally ahead of that report, we'll do a broker's roundtable, so keep your eyes open for that. And also on June 28th, it'll be first notice day for the July long position. So keep that in mind. We're starting to see uh, people switch out of July into the you know, uh, further out contracts, August, September, you know, whatever the case may be. Yesterday, we got our weekly update on the uh, planting progress and the crop conditions. And right now, I think that focus is going to start to turn on crop conditions. We saw that uh, planting progress in the soybeans was 85% complete. That's a little behind the average, but it was in line with expectations. We're seeing um, crop conditions, 64% rated good to excellent in both soybeans and corn. Again, that's in line with expectations. That's actually... Uh, pretty close to uh, you know averages for this time of year also. Now we're off to a pretty decent start while things were off to a late start because of the cold and rain. The crop conditions are looking pretty good. In the end I do think that this recharge of soil moisture is going to be beneficial. A little bit of a delay right now but in the end I think it's what um, saves the crop. So right now it's still a little too soon, too early in the season for prices to go much lower. Uh, there's too many unknowns supporting uh, the price of uh, the grain crops right now. In the end, I think that the uh, upside is a little bit limited. You know, anything can happen as far as the weather goes, you know, between now and harvest time. But I think the upside is a bit limited. We're probably going to continue to trade in a big um, choppy range uh, sideways. So, again, in the end, though, I think that, you know, the, the crop prices are likely to moderate a little bit. We could get some... Um, you know, rebuilding of our stocks, we have some good yields here. That's what I would expect from uh, all this rain right now. Uh, we do need some warm and dry weather, so let's keep an eye on the weather as always. And again, really, it's about those crop conditions. That's what we'll focus on uh, most of all. That's all I have time for now. Um, please feel free, give me a call, shoot me an email. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.